Step one, take your stock and find the buttonhole in the middle. Make sure that it's at the bottom and not the top here. Step two, now you've attached your stock to your shirt with the button, take this side, loop it round the back of the neck and then through this hole here. Step three, once you've tied the stock round your neck and through the slot in the back, you cross this side, over the top, underneath and through, and then tighten. Step four, take the piece at the top, fold it in a loop, like so, so you have a V. Step five, take the piece dangling down and thread it through the hole, like so, and pull gently. Like so. Step six, once you've got the middle how you want it, first cross this side over the longer side, then the shorter side. Step seven, take a stock pin and attach, making sure that it's attached to your shirt as well so it doesn't have to flap up. Choose a stock pin that suits your outfit, whether it be a pearl, crystal or a plain, simple, like this. Step one, take your stock and find the buttonhole in the middle. Make sure that it's at the bottom and not the top here. Step two, now you've attached your stock to your shirt with the button. Take this side, loop it round the back of the neck and then through this hole here. Step three, take this side, fold it over the top and through and pull. When you don't have time to create a stock quick or you need to do it quickly, take the top section and lay it over the top like so. Step four, take the top piece of the stock and lift it slightly so it's away from the neck. Step five, attach your stock pin like so, ensuring that it's attached to your shirt as well so it can't flap up when you're competing. Choose a stock pin that accompanies your outfit, like a pearl, crystal or a plain bar like this.